During the campaign on my, my run to supervisor, we made several promises. And it's about keeping our commitment that it is vital. And I'm happy to report that one of my uh, campaign themes, uh, the addressing of take-home vehicles by commissioners and deputy commissioners, uh, is being uh, addressed right here and right now. We are taking the steps after a review where we have discovered uh, approximately 40 take-home vehicles that were being used uh, by department heads and deputies, uh, not only for their daily purpose of, of government service, but for the, the ability to go home uh, and travel to and from their home. Well, we've changed the rule. Uh, and in doing so, we've also been able to eliminate uh, over half of these vehicles in being used in the fleet. And what does that translate to? In simple terms, it translates to a savings for the taxpayers. Now, that was one of our campaign themes. There is always going to be a need, a use for a vehicle in different government departments. And we recognize that. But also, we need to recognize this is taxpayers' dollars, and we need to be very cost-effective, cost-efficient, and you do that with leadership. And sitting down with my colleagues, I discussed this, and you know what, they're, I'm glad they're here with me because it's symbolic. We are going to be able to eliminate over 20 vehicles from the fleet. And what does that mean? Over a five-year period, that is going to be over $600,000 savings for who? The taxpayers. In addition, vehicles that are going to be going back out in the workforce will also have you know, the identification that they should. A town seal, the department they're located at, and on the back, a telephone number. You know, the idea is, let's take for example, this vehicle right here, conservation and waterways. You know, this vehicle is there, gonna be utilized by the department during the work hours. If a resident has a concern, now they know who to reach out to. Maybe they have something they want to point out, something that you know, needs to be addressed. We can do that. And, but most importantly, as I said, it's a savings for the taxpayers. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Government doing best for what the residents want, which is to see a savings, to see a little bit lower of expense in government, and taking that money and put it where it needs to be. Like I said, in the roads, in the parks, in infrastructure. That should always be our primary concern, and I'm happy to deliver that. You know, from time to time, we, we get calls from uh, people's neighbors saying, you know, I know that person's a pencil pusher for the town. Why do they need a vehicle? You know, and, and kind of makes sense. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud that Don's keeping his promise, you know, and that's something that, that other people haven't done, but he's keeping his promises, and, and I'm proud to serve with him. But overall, it's about efficiency, cost cuttings and providing the relief uh, and making the choices that are really in the best interest of all the town of Hempstead residents and that's why a unified board is doing in the town. I'm glad to work with my colleagues and put taxpayers first.